There have been quite a few volleyball games over the years that I've really enjoyed, and I just got done playing a new one called Super Volley Blast. But does this one end up serving up a swell experience, or is it worse than taking a volleyball straight to the face? Super Volley Blast is a two-on-two -two volleyball game, featuring relatively simple controls, story mode, a few multiplayer modes that can be played up to four players locally, unfortunately, no online play, for an overall decent volleyball experience that's better to be played with friends than necessarily played as a single-player experience. The game's story mode, which can be played one or two players co-op, has you going through an arcade-like series of matchups. The matchups get more difficult and longer as you progress, starting with only one set with first to 11 points, then progressing to first to 15, then doing sets of first to 11, and then finally sets of first to 15. The characters that you play against throughout include parodies of pop culture, superhero, and political figures, like the likes of Spider-Man and King Jong-un. The levels that you face off against them are themed for various areas of the world, like Brazil, Sydney, or New York, and the stages themselves, though, are quite nice looking with a nice flair that brings out their own personality. The volleyball itself, though, is quite fun. Each of the four face buttons does a different volleyball technique, and you'll find which ones work best as far as being able to lob shots over the net, or do you want to jump up and be able to spike the ball down. When you jump up to set up for a spike, there's a white circle that kind of quickly closes in on the ball, and when this does, this is your opportunity to hit that spike. If you miss the opportunity, you'll end up whiffing on that hit, and the other team will end up prize scoring the point then. The timing for this took a little bit to get down, but once I did, I was winning matches no problem. Every character in the game, unfortunately though, controls exactly the same. They have the same stats across the board, but they can reach a good amount of the playing field. So when a ball it seems like it's out of reach, if you dive at the right moment, you still may be able to just barely reach it and set it up for your partner to then spike it on your opponents. The game story mode, though, isn't very long, it took about an hour, hour and a half at most in order to get through it. It does encourage you to play it and then play it again for New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus, but the characters that you're playing against and levels are exactly the same. Honestly, though, the funnest part about the game is the multiplayer blast mode where you can set up things like having the ball turn into a chicken so it kind of randomly will bounce around the field as well. You have the ability to make the entire playing field ice so everyone's slipping around, have people get more and more tired after each hit, and you can have a combination of these things as well. I am happy to report, though, from the technical side of things, everything ran smoothly, no crashing or slowdown. Super Volley Blast is available now on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC for $9.99. It does feature a Platinum Trophy on the PS4. Overall, Super Volley Blast is a fun little volleyball game. It has relatively simple controls that most people will be able to grasp in just a couple of rounds at most, and will provide a few hours of fun for you and your friends on like a Friday or Saturday night, but don't pick up the game necessarily if you're looking for a great single-player volleyball experience. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Super Volley Blast on the PS4 a 7 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review, though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.